I'm Peter Levine, and I'd like to welcome you to this online course, Healing Trauma, a step-by-step -step program for restoring the wisdom of your body. I'm going to give you the bad news first, and then the good news. Trauma is a fact of life. Almost none of us are going to go through life without, at some time, being exposed to potentially traumatizing events. The good news is trauma doesn't have to be a life sentence. There are ways, there are tools, there are approaches that can help people not only resolve but transform the effects of trauma. And one of the keys uh, in this program is the importance, the centrality of the body, both in being affected by trauma and in the healing of trauma. Trauma happens, this is going to be a little bit oversimplified, but trauma happens when we, our bodies, prepare to protect ourselves, but we're overwhelmed. And what then happens is what we were doing to protect ourselves then generates the symptoms of trauma. So let me give you an example. Okay, something happens and you have a tremendous fright. You see something that's horrible and you go <gasps> like this. Okay, these are all things that the body is doing. <gasps> I took the breath. I retracted my shoulders. My shoulders went up. My neck came down. My eyes went wide open. Now, what happens in trauma is, again, this is all preparing me to, to, to fight or to flee or in some way to avoid what I perceive to be a threat. Now, here's another important point. The trauma occurs when we are threatened or when we perceive that we're threatened. And sometimes it really doesn't make a difference of when we're actually threatened or whether we perceive that we're threatened. Okay, so getting back to what the body does, the body goes into this protective reaction the, in a reaction getting ready to, 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 to fight or to flee. And then we get stuck in that. Our bodies get stuck. And so when our bodies get stuck, our bodies are then telling our minds that there still is threat. And a lot of the, the, the approaches to trauma have been more cognitive to try to have people realize that they're not actually being threatened. But if the body remains in this hypertense, hypervigilant state, then it's really difficult for us to be able to let go of the trauma. But if we recognize how it gets stored in the body and can work directly with the body, then we have a tremendously important tool uh, in, the, in, the, in the transforming of trauma. <laughs>